what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so you guys i just had one of the largest summer harvest yet and sadly quite a few of my cucumbers are doing terribly however i was able to pull actually three but i don't know i don't know about this one these three or these cucumbers were some that I bought from a nursery and the cucumber beetles have been getting at most of my daggone cucumbers. So luckily this plant was the only one that I was able to get cucumbers from. I harvested two others. So in total about five that really kind of sucks because I really want to make some pickles and my national pickling is completely fizzled out. I actually dug that out and call it a daggone day. But today we are going to whip up a quick recipe. This is something that I always have enjoyed and what we know it to be is called West Virginia salad and it is cucumbers, tomatoes, and onions, which we will be using all home, not all homegrown, but mostly her homegrown things. So I have a nice size Roma here. These are some decently sized red onions that I was able to pull and then we are going to mix up a little salad dressing. Very simple and we are also going to be using some herbs from the garden and I have here just some parsley and some fennel fronds. I never tried that before. We're just going to see how it goes. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the prep. All right, I went on ahead and rinsed off my veggies and I am going to just slice this up as well and it's really straightforward I mean honestly I'm more so just showing you what I'm doing with my harvest but I mean you can jazz this up any way that you like to but it's a really easy way of using your homegrown vegetables as they are beginning to trickle in and maybe you don't have enough to do like a big canning project or anything like that or maybe you're just not even fond of doing like refrigerator pickles this is a quick and easy way of like getting some marinated veggies that are delicious and a really good summer treat. So um, we are just gonna slice these things up. From here, I'm just gonna speed through everything because it's all self-explanatory. Self and once we get to the dressing part, we'll walk through that. I believe it may be helpful to know that I'm also doing this in a layering effect. And really you don't have to do it like that because really you're gonna be digging your fork in eventually anyways. But I was running low on this and I had this tomato in the refrigerator that needs to be cut open and enjoyed. So why not make this a colorful assortment of tomatoes as well. So we'll just put a few slices of that in there also and you don't have to use red onion as I mentioned like you can kind of make this your own I mean it's not a super complicated recipe at all it's just something quick simple and easy to enjoy in the summertime. All right, so when it comes to creating your own salad dressings, as I mentioned, you can kind of jazz this up any way that you choose to. However, you always want to start off with a couple of ingredients and then just build upon it from there. So for this, it'll be more of like an Italian dressing type feel. So I am gonna do a half a cup of olive oil. Basically you're doing two to one with your oil and acid. So again, a half a cup, oh, I'm making a mess child half a cup of olive oil and then one fourth of a cup of red wine vinegar and I'm just feeling fancy today y'all I mean this isn't typically the 
the jam. I don't have any problem using like apple cider vinegar or anything like that. But this is what I have on hand. And so we just gonna try something a little different. So that's pretty much where I wanna start. Obviously you wanna season it, salt and pepper. Ooh, and really, I can make this a little spicy, so I'm gonna use a little less black pepper and let's use, and then let's use some pepper flakes from previous year's gardens. And I just like a little spice. So this is one fourth of a teaspoon in half. So really like one eighth of a teaspoon. And that will be plenty, trust me. Um, and then let's go on ahead and build upon those flavors. So let's add in a half of a lemon. Up in there just to make her a little bit more zesty. And I like to catch those seeds in like one of these strainers here. And make sure you guys can see. And then I have again the fennel and parsley. I'm just want to cut those thicker sticks out. And then just this up as fine as you possibly can. Now let's add that in. And let's also mince up one clove of garlic. I'm going to use my press. I like using my garlic press just because I'm never going to be able to chop it up fine enough for my liking, but you do it however you like. And then really, if I'm feeling real zesty, I'll see what it tastes like after we shake this up, but I might add a little Dijon as well and you just shake that up to emulsify it and get it all incorporated. How creamy that's looking. Oh, that looks so good. Smells really good too. All right, let's crack this open. Give her a taste test. Mm. That's good but it's heavy on the acid. I feel like I just need to cut it with a little bit of sweetness. So let's add in some honey. <laughs> Luckily, I just bought some. Now this is not local honey, so don't kill me. Normally I would have local honey, but I am all out and I have not recently been to the farmer's market to get some. So let's go ahead and add a touch of this. It's from Aldi's. I would say, I can't use that same spoon, so let's see. I would just eyeball it. Just to add a wee bit of sweetness. All right, you always wanna check to see if there's any more just like setting at the bottom and it looks all good. So let's go ahead and give this one more taste. Perfect. Oh. I mean, no one. I'm just going to leave, pour the majority of that in there, but I'm just going to leave a little extra on the side in the case that I want to add more into the bowl later on. Now from this point, I would let this sit for like maybe at least minimum 20 minutes in the refrigerator just to get nice and cool and like let all of those juices soak in. And like I said, if I feel like I want more, then I have more, but rather start off with a little bit, see how it does and then add more later on. But just so gorgeous, so delicious. Let's go on ahead and do a taste test now because um, I mean, why not? 
just use one of these little tomatoes here. Mm. Yes, that is so good. It's gonna be so delicious. So I'm gonna cover this up, leave it in the fridge. Like I said, 20 minutes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick recipe video. If you did, make sure that you went ahead, stick around, subscribe. Honey, that's good. <coughs> um, but yeah, I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. If you wanna see more like this, definitely leave any requests down in the comment section below. I thank you all again. Peace.